Good morning everybody. It is Saturday and it is a beautiful day as you can see. And here he is. Man of the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Your captain of the ship, <laughs> Jason. <laughs> so, we begin our second week off. Yay. Nine so, days off. I know, it's amazing. Two weeks. In a whole year. In a whole year. We don't usually have a holiday, do we, Jason? Well, the last time I had any holiday was when I had operation, which wasn't really holiday. It was convalescing. <laughs> Apart from that, it was about seven years ago. I don't think it was that long ago. Was it when we went to France? Yeah, it was six years ago. Yeah, six years ago was our last holiday. Not that you could really call this a holiday. But it is sort of. Busman's holiday. It's just Sandy. nice to not be at work. And of course, the weather. Again. <laughs> another heat wave. Not quite as hot as 40 degrees, but it's going to be up in its 30s, which is great. Which is great if you're having a week off doing stuff, but not boat work. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's better than rain, but yet again, fiberglass in and. Painting. Painting. This is going to be a problem. So it looks like we've got a whole week of sanding. And varnishing. And tongue oiling. <laughs> and I'm sure there will be some other jobs. But back to today. You're going to go out on the deck, I think you said. Yeah, front deck and coach house roof. I'm going to fair the bits that need doing and then give them a sand and then that's ready to do a full proper coat of white paint then. Uh, that's mostly what I'm going to be doing today, I think. And I'm, you guessed everyone, I'm back on the stanchions and the sanding and the varnishing. Well, maybe not the varnishing, I'll leave the varnishing to Jason because I'm just too messy. Oh, I don't know, you improved a bit when you were doing your roof on your car yesterday. Yeah, I actually managed to paint my soft top roof and not obliterate everything <laughs> else with dye. You only had a few little bits on your hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. But yeah, that's what we're doing today. Sanding. <laughs> For a change. <laughs> so, we invested in a crock pot. Um, spoke to a few other boaters who said that they have one makes life a lot easier plus we haven't got our cooker hooked up yet um, but I have to say it's amazing it pressure cooks slow cooks you can do stews in it cakes risottos soups you can cook a whole chicken in it you can just about cook anything in it and I have to say it is amazing and makes life a lot easier on the boat. You can just bung, they call them in America, dump mills, I think. Just throw it all in, switch it on and away you go. I think the quickest meal we've had this week actually pressure cooked in a minute, which is really good for when you finish work. But today, even though it's hot, we are having a beef curry in it. So it's on slow cook today, so I haven't got to do too much after we finish working on the boat. But yes, I would highly recommend. And for the purpose of the video, as one of our viewers said about getting Jason a sombrero, as I said in our comments on YouTube, he already has one. <laughs> which actually works really well, doesn't it? It's the best thing ever. I wear it every day. Yeah. When he's painting cars, he wears his sombrero. And when he's painting boats. It works for the Mexicans, it works for me. <laughs> right, so we're on the port side. Sanding these ones down. But these are a bit uh, loose, shall we say, because of our lovely... Small hole. Small hole in the side. But we're working our way along. Tides out, so it's making it a little bit easier. And then I'll have to go on the deck to do the very last one there, and then we can get some tongue oil on the hand rail and the tow rail, and then I guess more varnishing somewhere. All right, 
outside the tow rail is now all sanded down all the way along. So I'm just about to give the handrail here a bit of a scotch up and tunnel and then we can tunnel the tow rail and get the cleat back on before the tide comes back in. Right, so that is all the handrail tunnelled again and now the tow rail and a dusty Mexican Jason. <laughs> We're just on a go slow today, it's just too hot. The swans are here. As you can see, Jason's busy sanding. I'm indoors at the minute because it's just too hot out there. Um, I have to excuse the noise in the background, that's the baby swans. But yeah, he's sanding all down that he fared this morning. Um, so yeah, I've done finished off tongue oiling stanchions. Um, so I'm gonna go out there now and yeah, so as I was saying, I'm gonna go out in a minute and continue with the stanchions, getting the paint off of them and sanding them down so they're ready for a coat of paint. Right, so it's seven o'clock. We've just had a lovely beef curry. It was a little hot and spicy for my liking. It was perfect. Jason said it's the best beef curry he's ever had. Oh, it was very nice. Yes, so. Katie didn't think so. No. No, it was a little hot. So today's been hot. Mm. And guess what I've been doing all day? Sanding. Sanding. So what have you done to the front deck? Sanded it again. Oh well I've put the fair in. I've been fairing it. Um so I fared half the As you can tell. This is a mild bit of dust earlier. He just looked like a ghost. <laughs> See <laughs> the knees. Uh, yeah, I've been sort of fared half of the uh, coach house roof and sanded it all. And I'm just going over it again, doing the bits I didn't do and the little holes and bits that I missed. So, for the next hour or so again, fill, fill in. in. <laughs> and then it'll be more sanding. Monday will be sanding again. Yeah. But it's looking lovely and smooth. I shall come out and have a look. Right, so it's Monday afternoon. And we've been out and done some bits and pieces this morning. And we are just about two. Well, I'm about to go out and do stanchions <laughs> in the heat. And, and I'm about to go and continue on filling and sanding the coach house roof. Well, we best get on with it then. Yeah, in a minute. All right, so I don't know if we showed you the last time, but we tongue oiled the tow rail on the port side done these stanchions but they need a little bit more work on the top parts um, still got that one to do and that one to do and then we're gonna tongue all this again and then basically it's all ready for painting and varnishing out here all right so the stanchions are all scraped sanded down ready for painting so now I'm gonna tongue oil along here on the tow rail for the last time before it all gets varnished but yes it is a very lovely day all right so that's all had a second or third coat I think of tongue oil so it's all ready for varnishing I think it's about five o'clock Jason has had a wander down, I think. I've just finished sanding the second fill. If 
I get down there and is now on the very last there he is <laughs> his sombrero marking out tiny little what would you call them not holes what would you call imperfections yeah tiny imperfections that are still there that he needs to fill hopefully this should be the last one so he's just marking them because they're so bright out here you can't see them or you miss them but yes so hopefully soon it is looking nice and smooth hopefully soon we can get on with the flow coat if the temperatures don't rise too much which apparently they are going to so yeah i think that's probably about it for today um i don't think we're doing much else are we not today no it's my birthday tomorrow so who knows what we're doing probably working on the boat <laughs> But uh, yeah, getting stuff done, slowly but surely. I think also we've got to sand down the starboard side of the wheelhouse again because that didn't come out too great. So we're going to do that this week and hopefully try and get that varnished. Um, but yeah, it's all about the deck this week, I think. Good morning, it's Tuesday and you guessed it, we're back on boat work. But today is my birthday, so happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, Kerry. <laughs> uh, we've just been for breakfast for my birthday. So we might be a little bit slower this morning. Well, Jason is. Um, I think today I've already started sanding the wheelhouse bright work on the port, stub, port. port side um because there was a few bits that we'd missed so we can <coughs> Kaylee missed it. well and possibly me um Kaylee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're playing Kaylee, she's not here and um, what are you up to jason i think i'm sanding again <laughs> <laughs> and then Possibly painting the stanchions and doing some varnishing. So we're pretty much just doing the same thing over and over again at the day minute. Day in, day out. So if there's not a lot of video footage, it's because we guess you'd all get bored seeing us do the same thing over and over again. Um, but we're not far off finishing, pretty much. No, roof is, oh yeah, the coach house roof is one sand away from ready to be painted properly. All of the handrails at the back, you've uh, tongue oiled and they are ready for varnishing. The tow rails, you've tongue oiled and they're ready for varnishing. Stanchions, mm. you've sanded and they're ready for painting. So it's just all the finishing on them now. Yeah. So, all good. What I want to know is what happens once we've painted the front? Does it mean you'll continue up the side with the deck? Yeah, probably. I might I might start doing the sides and get you to do the poop deck. Ooh. Get you starting on sanding that possibly. Ooh. Just do a little section at a time. Yeah. Sand it and then paint it and then move on to another little section, sand it and paint it. So because there's any leaks well or... there's only a couple of spots out there that uh that's mainly near the upper helm yeah the thing is we've got to get the uh non-grip off non-slip not the non-grip <laughs> well they are non-grip most of them are hanging They're off more, more like non well not trip hazards more than yeah um but yeah so they're hanging off on the corners but they're bound to be uh, Firmly oh, stuck down in the middle, yeah. We because shall see. Hopefully, they come off nice. Yeah, so it's kind of finishing touches on the stanchions and hand rails and toe rails. The front deck should be ready for its first proper coat of paint. Um, but yeah, 
so let's start the day with some i know more sanding mm. for a change so this is the edge we were talking about it's on the door so it's just all been sanded down jason is getting off a bit of varnish from up top around the window that we didn't do and then we can tunnel and then this side is ready for varnishing Stuck in the gap, Joe. Yeah, just give you the way. Because <laughs> you'll be doing by a bigger sombrero, won't it? I'll have to get you one with all the pom poms on. <laughs> Don't know if you can see as well Jason's little uh, sharpie circles of the. Uh... Oh, God, I swear to God! I swear to God, I'm going to kill him today. He's being most annoying. All his little uh, holes. <laughs> he's, he's finding that funny. You wouldn't find that funny if I fell in, I'll tell you. You're lucky we can't see you. I think you'd find I would find that. God, sometimes I could absolutely. If we were married, I think I would have divorced him by now. Oh my God. Stop. Doing it. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, did it make you jump? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very sorry about that. No, you're not. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> right, so Jason's just put some cedar on the uh, bright work on the port side of the wheelhouse, so we've got to let that dry. So I've done a bit of varnishing side now I'm going to continue on these bits all the uh, varnishing done on the handrails all sides now well first coat on these two sides I think that's the second or third coat on the port side but it's looking very nice I think I've got to wait to do the tow rail because Jason's put some sealant in some places in the last varnish so just having a discussion with Jace about 
what next and what we're doing and so once he's finished sanding the front deck maybe the, the end of this week he's going to start doing the remaining bit of deck that's left to do on that side two bits at a time i think um in which case it's time to start the poop deck so we're going to see how easily we can get these mats up without putting any divots in the fiberglass out here because this is all okay obviously we've got the hatch that should be there which isn't and then the only soft bits is over here underneath the fender there and just around the side that need replacing so the rest of this deck is okay I think we've taken the decision not to put anything in here for the minute we're going to leave like the main structure of the hatch there so if at some point we come across a hatch or we have a thousand pounds to buy a new, new hatch for this we will but we're going to fiberglass over it Jason's opinion is the more openings we have the more water inlet it is we can get out if we needed to in the emergency out the back windows so I'm now going to attempt without getting any divots in the fiberglass we hope see how easy these anti-slip mats come up the front ones were stuck down really well they hadn't lifted at all but a lot of these have lifted so as we said they're a bit more of a hazard now than anything um, so what the plan will be is we're going to do this section by section so sort of do a square paint move along so I can start doing it while he's finishing off the front so we can get it hopefully all the decks done before winter tired is just going out so I'm going to go and get my kneeling mat and start lifting the anti-slip mats right so we tried lifted a little bit but right underneath it's stuck so I'm gonna have a go with a scraper keeping it flat and hammering it so it becomes well as less damage as possible to the top of the deck. Let's see how this goes. So this is how far I've got but it's tough. The brown you can see I think is the adhesive it is stuck fast. It's going to be a long, long job. Alright, so Jason's finished sanding it all down now. Looks nice and smooth. So it's now finally ready for painting. Once that's painted, we've got this last bit of deck on the front deck to do, and then we can work our way up the side. So we're getting there. struggling with the anti-slip mats if anyone's got any suggestions please put them in the comments below easy ways to get all the glue off but yep there we go all sanded ready for the first coat of paint again